Hello Travelers, so today I wanted to do a quick video comparing a couple of similarly sized uh, sling bags from a couple of companies, mainly from Bellroy, but I just wanted to throw this one in here, which is the Alpaca Tech Case. This is a 2.1 liter sling bag. Now this one here is the Bellroy Light Sling, and that is four liters, the four liter version. This is the Bellroy Venture 2.5 liter, so these two are more similar in size capacity. And this one is the Bellroy Venture 6 liter Eco Pack version. I will be doing a more in depth review of each of these Bellroy bags. I already did one of this one, but if there are more details you want me to get into, please do let me know in a comment below. But basically, I just wanted to show you, you know, the rough capacity of these and about how I would kind of pack them out for, uh, you know, just a day sort of trip or, you know, carrying around as an everyday carry. So these are a couple of my usual items that I carry. I carry like a Nightcore Tiny 2 flashlight. I carry the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro, uh, which I will soon be changing over to this one here, which is the Zip Card Holder. And actually the only real difference between these two, quick spoiler, uh, is that the back here has increased the capacity to hold a card. So that's really the only difference um, but I will be changing to that one soon so I'll pop that one there. I don't always carry this particular bottle but uh, I do carry some form of water with me. Hand sanitizing gel, sunglasses, wet wipes, umbrella and a hat. So these are some things I usually try to carry with me. I also usually do try and chuck in some sunscreen because in Australia the sun is extremely bright. Let me start off here with the Bellroy Venture Sling 2 liter. Now the new Venture line here has an interesting divider in the front section. The old one didn't have this divider but this one does and the Venture Pack 26 liter which I previously reviewed also has this in the top section and it's I was a bit apprehensive at first about it, but it actually is quite handy, you know, if you want to put a couple of things on either side and not have them hit each other and sort of damage those items. So you could put like those in there, for example. And this one also has a lanyard holder inside. One thing I will note is that with the old six liter on here, you see it's like a, a main compartment with two sort of pockets inside, but the main compartment is, is goes all along. And that I did used to find handy for putting my sunglasses in there. And that is something that you can't do with this one because of that divider. Makes it just a bit, I mean, you could press them in there and put the sunglasses on each side, but I do find it easier putting it in that one. This one also does have a kind of sunglasses dedicated pocket here. It's like a little shelf stretchy panel. Uh, so that is where I have been putting the sunglasses. I believe that's what they want you to use that shelf there for. So now inside here, you also have a little dividing panel and then a soft backing here. So this would be good for, you know, putting your phone if you didn't want to scratch the screen. There is no other pockets though. So that's basically the entire layout. Now this one is pretty tight, but you could probably squeeze a camera of some sort in there with perhaps a pancake lens. I haven't really been able to fit my Sony camera in there, but you could definitely fit like a ZV-1 uh, kind of camera. This is about the smallest size I could fit my full frame Sony camera in. And even then it took up most of all of the space of it. So that is something to know if you're gonna be carrying camera equipment. Uh, although this one does hold this Miyamoto A6, this is the stainless version. And you see that takes up just about all of the space there. Generally, I might carry something like my umbrella. If I'm carrying this pouch, I could put that in the back panel there. And then I try to squeeze my hat in there as well. And you see that becomes a bit tight, but still doable. I can zip that up and zip the front one up. Now this one also actually does have a rear zippered panel here. I've just got the information of the bag there, but you could slip something extra here, like for example, the wet tissues and you know, phone or password. So that is very nice. And that basically there is at full capacity now, um, but I have found this one to be extremely useful a great capacity and like I said it's very similar in size to the tech case. The only advantage really with the tech case is that the straps are detachable so you could use this as kind of like a packing cube and again this one is 2.5 liters but this one is 2.1 liters. I feel like because of the design of this one being a bit more square you could probably fit a like a slight bit more in this one just because of the design of it or as this one's more rounded so squeezing things in here will make it stick out like that more and 
yeah, the capacity is still co fairly comparable between them. All right, so moving up to now the four liter version. So this one has a front pocket here. And again, I have the uh, details of the bag in there. That is a fairly slim, I can just get my hand in there. Now that could be good, like I said before, for the sunglasses. I do find that quite nice to put those ones in there. Occasionally I would put my wallet in there, but a bit tight to fit both of them at the same time. So I'll just leave the sunnies in there. I'll mention this one also does have a little lanyard for your keys. Forgot to put that one in. And this one has two zips on either side, the same as this one here. And so inside the main compartment, we have just a big area and then one zippered part on the back here. And so that's just an empty, non-divided compartment. So let's put those wet wipes in there. And yeah, there's no shelf for the sunglasses, but I would probably put umbrella, wallet, definitely could fit a power bank. That slips in there nicely. Let's put this one here. You can see there's little pockets down the side here. So if I put that one there, that will divide it. I can put that one there. Sun cream and that. Now you can fit the water bottle in there on its own. Probably too tight to squeeze it in there, but if you had something else small, maybe the hat. Yep, so that will probably fit in there. And then if I just pull it across, you can see that is fairly expansive. No back panel on that one, no extra pockets, but the material is extremely lightweight as the name would imply, and it's very nice and comfortable. And you know, it doesn't get wet or stained. Oh, there's a bit of a mark there. It also has this little clip on the front where you could clip a light or the hero clip, which I just put in there. So yeah, this one is also a very nice bag. And I would say actually in terms of the shape of that one, it actually is quite similar in capacity and size to the 2.1 here. Although they say that this one is a four liter capacity. Okay, so finally, let's take a look here at the capacity of the six liter. Take a quick walk around. This also has the front clip part. Uh, inside it also has the lanyard to dividing pockets. And so I think I would usually put my wet tissues in that front panel. Here a clip can actually go on the front this time. Let's put the little light down in one of these pockets. So in here you do have a zippered pocket and that one I have my uh, microfiber cleaner for the sunglasses and then they just pop nicely into that pocket. This one has, a, like I said, a fairly good capacity. So you could put your mirrorless camera in there with a small lens. I was able to fit the Sony a7C with the 35 mil lens. Um, but without that, I would put my hat here. Now again, there's a zippered pocket there. Let me put the wallet in there. So that's the hat, umbrella, power bank. And let's put this one. There is again, there's a little pocket down the side. So let's put the hand sanitizer there. There is no pocket on that side, but I will put the sun cream there and a packable day pack. Not quite enough probably for the water, but let's see if I can squeeze that in there down the side. That's getting pretty full, but I should be able to zip that up. There you go. So that is fully full capacity. And yeah, so, you can see the, obviously the six liters gives you that much more room to pack in and then you pack a little less in those two. But overall, I think uh, that the size of the six liters is very versatile. I found the nine liter as well, which I reviewed also very versatile. Six liter is great. The eco pack version here, the difference with this one is that it has a, an elastic strap and you can't detach it. But on all of the other ones, you get this detachable strap, which is a magnetic attachment to make it easy to put on and off a bag. And again, that's on this one as well. So that is a great way to um, put the sling on if you didn't want to sling it over your head every time. Again, you can't do that with this one, unfortunately, but this strap is very comfortable. But overall, that was a quick look at these three bags. Do let me know if you what you want me to focus on in the main reviews. So I will be doing a review on each one individually as well. Um, but basically, that's it for this one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.